everyone, I'm Sophie Julia and this is Ben Bateman. Welcome to The Huddle. Today we're going to talk about the Super Bowl and yes, I'm still on cloud nine because my Eagles have punched a ticket to Minnesota and I will be there and they're facing off against the defending Super Bowl champs, the New England Patriots. First question, what do my Eagles have to do to beat the Pats? I think the easy answer is hit Tom Brady. Um, you know, this is a guy who it's pretty clear that like year after year after year, the way you beat Tom Brady is you hit him over and over again. And it's not it's not going to be you're going to hit him and you're going to get an interception. You're just going to get him frustrated. And he's going to throw the ball into the ground and the refs will start giving him calls. But he's a 40 year old quarterback and he will get frustrated. Yeah. And, and I think the Eagles just have to continue with their confidence and their swagger they had all season and keep doing what they are doing. The stadium, I mean, I know everyone I know from Philly is going, so it's going to be roaring with crazy Eagles fans and they need that momentum behind them. So I think that's going to help them as well. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely some bad blood, right? I mean, going back now almost 15 years to the last time you guys played the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And, uh, and that's not a memory that I think a lot of Eagles fans are happy about. It's good for you guys that you're absolutely underdogs with Nick Foles at the helm this time. I think it actually gives you a little bit of an advantage. He's the fact that Nick Foles is your starting quarterback in the Super Bowl, I think makes you guys kind of the ultimate underdog in the history of the Super Bowl, maybe. Yeah. And I mean, for the Patriots in the AFC championship game last week, Rob Gronkowski got hit. He got pulled from the game and was ruled out with a concussion and he has not been practicing all week. Do you think the Pats will suffer without Gronk? Only on very specific plays. And I mean, unfortunately for the Patriots, those very specific plays are instrumental to winning a game like the Super Bowl. You know, it's it's those clutch third and 14 third downs where Tom Brady has to hit the safety blanket. Not having Edelman and not having Gronk for a Super Bowl, that's going to hurt. Exactly. I mean, Gronk wasn't in it last year, but they had Edelman, who was like the star of the game. And I mean, Amendola is... Can't rely on just Amendola. He's magical, but that guy could, you know, pull his groin in the first quarter. Like, the fact that he stayed healthy this year as long as he did was crazy. Nobody saw that coming. But who's really magical is Tom Brady. And, and to be honest, no matter who's ruled out, anything can happen with Tom Brady as your quarterback. So if he wins this Super Bowl, do you think it will be his biggest accomplishment to date? Or if he loses, will it be his biggest upset? That's a good question. I mean, his biggest accomplishment to date has to be the comeback against the Falcons. I agree. I don't think that there's ever, and I don't think you could possibly beat a bigger disappointment than 2007 against the Giants. My thing is that, you know, I, I think about sports in terms of storyline, right? The narrative that we're going to look back on this whole. And Tom Brady's story is written. It doesn't, this is almost like an irrelevant game in his history, because if he loses this, it's, he still has four wins. There's, I agree. There's nothing crazy about beating the Eagles with Nick Foles at quarterback. Like, it's already, it would be crazy if they did win. And if he loses, he's 40. And he made the Super Bowl at 40 in back-to-back -back years. So that's already insane. I, I feel like, I don't really know how to feel about Tom Brady in the I Super know. Bowl. I know, I feel like if he wins, it's expected, and if he loses, it's like, whatever, he always wins, so you take one, you lose one. And I mean, I don't think it's gonna be this like crazy, unbelievable upset. Yes, for the underdogs, but the Eagles were the number one seed going into the playoffs. They had a dominant season, and even without Wentz, I don't think it would be shocking if the Eagles win. I don't think people are expecting a blowout by the Pats. You gotta feel bad for Carson Wentz, though. You gotta oh. just feel so bad for the guy. And you gotta feel bad for me because the whole city of Philadelphia <laughs> was just heartbroken when that happened. But, you know, I, I honestly didn't expect us to go as far as we have with Foles, but now I'm rooting for my guy. I mean, if Nick Foles pulls this off, if, if you guys win the Super Bowl, he's gonna get thrown into the conversation with Trent Dilfer and Joe Flacco and these, these one-off Super Bowl winning quarterbacks who we look back 20 years later and we're like, oh yeah, that guy won a Super Bowl. And to his credit, I mean, he, he already has the, the seven touchdowns in a game thing. He's one of the few quarterbacks that's ever done that. If he wins a Super Bowl, I mean, what, what more do you want? It'll be like the ultimate asterisk quarterback there is. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Here's to hoping that the Eagles become Super Bowl champions next week. And where can we find you on social media, Ben? Oh, yeah, you guys can find me at Ben Bateman Media on Twitter, Instagram, and I do red zone stuff during the season. So, you know, look out for me next football season. And you can follow me at Sophie Julia. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah.